What's up guys? Today we are talking about a new product that we received and it is a dash cam. Yep, over the last two years we have traveled without a dash cam. Sorry, trigger alert. But anyways, we, uh, we got this new one. It's called Red Tiger. It's a 4K dash cam. It comes with a front and the back. Uh, the specific model number is F7NP. In today's video, you're gonna see me unbox this and install it. Uh, I did also pick up the hardwire kit, which is, I don't know if I'm gonna use that today. I'll probably just install it using uh, the regular uh, 12 volt. And we picked up this lens and that goes on the front of it. It's like a polarized lens so that it's supposed to not glare of lights off. Uh, vehicles at nighttime. I did get this off of Amazon. There was a deal going on. It was like uh, a big discount on it. I think I picked it up for like 125 bucks. It's a 4K front facing camera, a 1080 uh, rear camera and Wi-Fi GPS. So uh, a lot of features on this one and we will unpack all of that as we go through this. All right, let's, uh, let's get the box open and see what comes with it. Just show you guys the box contents here. Uh, you get this little card. It has the suction cup for the camera. The This is the front facing camera and this is actually pretty nice. So we know somebody that has this camera already. And this one's pretty nice because it's pretty low profile as you can see here. And there's a screen across the back. So you're actually, you can see what it's seeing. Uh, as you as you go down the road so that's that's pretty nice and it already has the card let's see it has a a 32 gig card already installed and of course it does loop uh so it's going to write over itself unless you need that footage for something we've got this is the uh rear facing camera the cab camera and then a plug for it so you can either just plug it into a 12 volt or you can buy the kit to hardwire it in. I'm not gonna hardwire it today since it does come with the 12 volt. I'm just gonna plug it in so that we can use it going down the road. You can see the Ram, the Ram has a short windshield and that is the, like the forward collision eyesight. So it takes up a lot of space actually in the front windshield. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the, the dash cam right over here. Now in reading uh, the handy dandy manual, the first thing we need to do is actually install the app on our phone. And that way we can set up our account and uh, test out the camera before we even install it. Obviously you don't want to go through the hassle of running all the wires and stuff like that and just to find out the camera doesn't work. So we're going to do all of that, get it set up, and then we'll install it. There is a QR code uh, on here. Download the app. So I'm just going to bring my camera up. And we'll download that. Agree. And then I'm assuming it has to have power in order to add the device. Add device, allow while using to find and connect the device when you're not allow. You have not added a device. So I want to add a camera. Best install position is going to be uh, towards the center and on the top. I'm going to get as close as I can. <laughs> and then you find the camera on Wi-Fi and then add it. All right, so first thing we're going to do, I guess, is plug it in. So we're going to take the 12 volt plug that came with it and out of the package. And I'm going to plug this camera in up top. It's a really long cord, which is nice because it gives you ample cord to run it across and plug it in uh, and hide the wiring. Now this just plugs into the top here. And we have lights. Take the little screen off and it's turning on. Please format SD card. So I got this little screen that says, please format SD card. Okay, that's been formatted now. And we're gonna take the lens cover off so I can actually see what it's seeing. Wow, that's nice, look at that. Check that out, guys. Can you see? 
quit seeing. What's up, guys? Check that out. Nice wide screen in 4K. So that's really good. All right, now I'm going to continue to set my my phone up. Wi-Fi on. Gosh, I don't know where to install this thing. Might make more sense to be in the middle up here. Now I will say this is this is kind of sticky. All right, so what you do is you actually take this and turn it to make it stick. As I mentioned, we got this accessory for the screen, which is a little lens cover. It goes right over top, just like that, and then that should help reduce the glare of headlights, is what it's supposed to do. It's a pretty cool little add-on. So hopefully uh, that helps out at nighttime. Now I think the only thing left to do is to figure out how I'm gonna run these wires so they're not hanging all over the dash. All right, I got it in here. Uh, this part doesn't look great, but it goes up into the headliner. Comes, actually comes around into the door trim. Comes down, you can see a transition right there. Goes under the dash, and then back up this track right here, and I'm gonna plug it in down there. We got it installed. That wasn't too hard. Getting the app set up is a little weird because it doesn't actually say Red Tiger like it shows in the example. It says F7NP. So that made it a little weird. I thought like it wasn't showing up in Wi-Fi or something. But other than that, I think we're good to go. I'm gonna take it on a test ride just so I can get some footage of driving. It does have GPS built in, so it gives you your location and your speed uh, as well. So we're going to uh, see what that's all about. All right guys, so we just got back from the store and uh, went on our first ride with the new dash cam in. I will say I downloaded a, a clip from the phone or from the camera onto my phone and it's really cool because of the GPS. It actually shows like where you're at on the map. It shows you your speed. Um, it also shows G-force. So if you experience an impact, uh, it'll actually register how much of an impact that you, uh, you actually experience. So that's, that's really cool. Now, the one thing I will say I figured out was um, it does not allow you to use the parking feature unless it's hardwired in. So right right now I have it uh, solely on a 12 volt plug, but unfortunately I can't use parking with that. Uh, it also will turn off and turn back on with the vehicle. So right now I have to turn actually turn it on and off, which is, um, you know, it's, inconvenient in case especially if you forget but um it was easier to run it for sure as of right now so i may go back and hardwire it in but for the sake of the video wanted to be able to get it going and show you guys uh exactly what you get with it now the app is pretty cool you do have to turn the wi-fi on on the camera in order to connect the app to the camera and download the clips I don't know if there's a setting in there to be able to, to leave the Wi-Fi on or not, but I've had to turn it on when I want to connect the phone. Still, I think that could be I think that could be a little bit better, but I could be missing something too. For the price point, 
the clarity of this is really nice. All right, well, that does it for the unboxing and real world use of the Red Tiger F7NP. This is a 4K dash cam. I think it's pretty awesome for the price and the fact that you already get the SD card. Can't beat that. Now I feel a little safe for going down the road. All right, if you have ideas for other products you'd like to see us review, leave that in the comments. We'd be happy to uh, take a look at it and see if we can't do something for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. Until the next strange adventure, keep making your own. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video and a special thank you to our Patreons listed right over here. Yes, without you guys, we could not do this. Um, if you have not considered joining yet, please do. Links down below. And our next video is recommended right below this one, so go check that out.